Let us now take the fourth model from this topic which is based on the difference between compound interest and simple interest for a given period of time. Let us first understand the formula to be used to solve questions based on differences. Let the difference between compound interest and simple interest for a period of t years at the rate of r percent per annum be d. Then the principal p is given as we have two different cases here. The first case is if time t is equal to 2 years then the principal p can be calculated as d into 100 squared divided by r squared where d is the difference between compound interest and simple interest and r is the rate of interest per annum and remember this formula is applicable when the time period is given as 2 years and the second case here is when the time is equal to 3 years that means for a period of 3 years there the principal p can be calculated as d into 100 cube divided by r squared into 300 plus r where again d is the difference between ci and si and r is the rate of interest per annum and this formula has to be applied when the time period is equal to 3 years so with the help of these two formulas we can solve the questions related to difference from this topic Remember friends, we don't have any formula for a time period of one year. Why? Because as we have learned in the introduction part of this topic, there is no difference between simple interest and compound interest for the first period. That is for the first year. So we don't have any formula related to the difference for a period of one year as the difference is always zero for the first period for a given rate of interest and the given principle. Let us now take an example based on the concept of difference that we have just learned. The question here is, Find the difference between simple interest and compound interest at 5% per annum for 2 years on a principle of rupees 2000. So very clearly we know that the rate of interest is 5% per annum, time period is 2 years and the principal amount is rupees 2000. And we are supposed to find out the difference between the simple interest and the compound interest. As we have already discussed, the principal can be taken as d into 100 squared by r squared when the time period is equal to 2 years. So as the time period given in the question is 2 years, we can take the principal as d into 100 squared by r squared. So let us now substitute the values at the proper places and find out the required answer. So we know that principal is equal to 2000. So this 2000 should be equal to d into 100 squared divided by r squared. r is nothing but 5 here. So 5 squared. So from this the difference d can be taken as 2000 into 5 squared divided by 100 squared. 100 squared is nothing but 10,000. Now 2000 goes 5 times and 5 and 5 gets cancelled. So we can say that the difference between simple interest and compound interest in this case will be rupees 5. So this is how with the help of the formula that is principal equals to d into 100 squared by r squared we can find out the difference or principal or the rate of interest when the other two values are specified. Let us now look at the other way of solving this question. We know that if the rate of interest is 5% per annum and the time period is 2 years the simple interest earned in 2 years would be 5% plus 5% that is equal to 10% and the compound interest earned would be a plus b plus ab by 100 since it is an effective percentage so 5 plus 5 plus 5 into 5 by 100 that is equal to 10.25 percent now as we can understand the difference between compound interest and simple interest is 10.25 percent minus 10 percent so the difference d that is nothing but ci minus si would be equal to 10.25 percent minus 10 percent so very clearly the difference here is equal to 0.25% which has to be calculated and we know that the principal is 2000 so principal is equal to 100% and that is equivalent to 2000. So again by cross multiplication we can find out that the difference here would be 5 rupees. So either we can use the formula that is p equals to d into 100 squared by r squared or simply find out the simple interest and compound interest and find out the equivalent percentage. If you really try to observe here, we very well know that the simple interest and compound interest on principal amount for the two years will be same. So here we can say that the actual difference between SI and CI will be this part that is the interest on interest in the second year. So we can try to avoid the calculation of all these things and simply consider what will be A into B by 100 where A and B is nothing but the rate of interest. Why? Because 
whatever we get simple interest in the two years that will be same as the compound interest on principal for two years the only extra part is the interest on first year's interest so directly we can say that the difference would be 5% of 5% which is equal to 0.25% and that 0.25% has to be calculated if 100% is 2000 so no need to write all these steps even when you are following the second method we can simply understand the difference as percentage of percentage and then find out the required answer let us now take an example based on the concept of difference for a period of three years the question is if the difference between the simple interest and compound interest on some amount at 20 percent per annum for three years is rupees 48 then what must be the principal amount so as you can see here the rate of interest is 20 percent per annum time is three years and the difference is given as 48 the difference between si and ci is equal to 48 and we are supposed to find out what must be the principal amount now we know that the formula to be used here is p equals to d into 100 cube divided by r squared into 300 plus r since the time period is given as three years so for three years we use the formula as shown so p should be equal to difference into 100 cube by r squared into 300 plus r we know that the difference is 48 and rate of interest is 20 percent per annum so let us substitute the values and find out the principal amount so this can be taken as 48 into 100 cube divided by r squared r is nothing but 20 here so 20 squared into 300 plus r that is 20 so this will be equal to 48 into 100 cube divided by 20 square is 400 into 320 now by simplifying this the zeros here get cancelled and this becomes 100 square 4 goes 12 times so the answer would be 12 into 100 square is 10,000 divided by 320 so this is 4 into 3 and 4 into 80 again a zero gets cancelled and the final answer would be 3 into 1000 3000 divided by 8 which comes out to be 375 rupees so we can say that the principal amount should be 375 rupees for the difference to be 48 and the rate of interest being 20 percent per annum for three years so this is how we can simply use the shortcut formula to get the required answer Friends, solving this question with the help of percentages would become a little tedious. Why? Because we need to consider the difference for 3 years. So the best way to solve this question is to use the shortcut formula. That is P equals to D into 100 Q divided by R squared into 300 plus R. 